Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is another Will Cheese Fail sent in by you, the fans, to lifesiglishtv at gmail.com. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes. Hit me up with the sound of having some good old fashioned butter infused, maybe a little garlic mashed potato with your steak. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa! <laughs> I do love me some garlic mash. A garlic, dude, garlic mash is goaded. Let's be honest. Come yes, on, man. especially when it's I like, can... <laughs> especially when it's garlic mash that's like a, almost like a little creamy. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not too, not too creamy. Can't be like watery, but just a little no. bit of that, little bit of that cream. It's, it's almost like weighted. It's like just. That's because that's because they when they do that, there's actual cream in the potatoes mm. and an unholy amount of butter, which is yes. why restaurant you're eating at the restaurant, you're like. Wow, why do these potatoes taste so delicious? The ones at home are just not the same. It's because they're using 7,000 calories worth of butter and cream. Fantastic. That's the, that's the answer. But hey, it tastes good, and we love us some garlic mashed potatoes. What do we got here, Mr. Black? Soul Survivor, the Red Terran. Yeah. Potato, the Blue Zerg. And it looks like Soul Survivor is going to be the one to be doing the chessin. Yeah. Because he's got a couple of proxies as well. Like, there's like two different proxies three. going on here. What do we? Well, three. He's, no, he's it, got, there's like another building. Yeah, this is to block any uh, oh, expansion, the expansion for the hatchery. Unfortunately for Soul Survivor, this guy's also planning to do some cheesy ass shit. Went for mm. a fast spawning pool right into Roach. It is going to be a Roach all in. And unfortunately for him, Potato Wait, sees what? all three of these racks. What was the building out here for Potato? The building? Yeah, there was a it was a blue block. He just canceled it. Like reverse the the the, the game just like Well, like if I do seconds. that, they're going to see how long the game is. Oh, true. Okay, don't do yeah. that. Okay, so it Oh, you know what like it was? Somehow... It was probably the hatch. He probably maybe he put down a hatch here. Is this no, where it was? No, no, no. It no, no. It was down like south of the Overlord now on the right-hand side of the map out in the white zone. Okay. Not anyway, on the no, like in front of Red's base. Oh. Like it was below this. It was below this. Not at a mineral patch. It was out in the middle of the fucking. So I was confused as to how. Well, anyway, if it's, if it's the out blue in the middle, went away. Yeah. If <laughs> if it's in the middle of somewhere, it's it has to be a hatch or it could be an extractor. It's the only two structures. Yeah. That uh, Zerg can make, uh, off creep. You know what I mean? So yeah. He he canceled it. And now it's down here. He, I think he grabbed one of the gas, of Soul Survivor instead so that was the drone that canceled and became gotcha. that instead uh so this is real awkward at this point we got we got the terran thinking hey i've got them reduced to one base we've got uh potato uh, uh getting a little bit annoying getting the extractor in there letting it finish even not even going to cancel it just going to be uh, annoying he does cancel the engineering bay after it was getting destroyed by the ravagers this forward uh bunch of uh of barracks not really cheesing anything mr black it's being used to go home for yeah. some reason. It looks like they're even pinged over there. Yes, yeah, they are. Well, it's because the Overlord scattered it out, and he was going for fast roach, so instead he's opted to go ahead and just make a wall and defend an all-in, and if he can defend the all-in, then he should just win the game flat out. So, um, you know, he's playing reactionary. At, at first, he was bringing the pace. Uh, the, the element of surprise went away once the Overlord saw what was going on, and now he's pivoted. And now he's ran back home. He's got a couple of bunkers here. Um, there is no overlord to be able to get high ground vision. Uh, so it's not like the Ravenger. Okay, so there is the overlord. Never mind. So the overlord mm -hmm. is going to be able to sit really in this position. And he's going to be able to uh, drop hot fire mixtapes down here. The shitty thing about doing a proxy as a Terran is you no longer have your large structures that have a lot of hit, uh, hit points up in the front. And instead, now you've got three of supply depots that are going to be able to get destroyed very quickly. And you do not have the range from the bunkers to be able to get that at them. And now he's going to be severely supply blocked. He can't even pull SCVs to go and repair these without the SCVs blowing up alongside them. So there goes three supply depots. Now he is supply blocked. Now he's going to have a hard time. The siege tank is stuck in queue. He's got an extra command center. There goes the other bunker, and Adam, this is not looking good. No, it's actually not looking good at all. I mean, he, like you were saying, he if he held, you know, he basically Ooh. auto wins, but that ain't holding. Ooh. That was cute, though. Look at that. That was cute, though. And, and now 
he's going to be able to start regenerating uh, while he is burrowed, and he's going to go ahead and slowly get more HP. And uh, once he has, brings down the um, the backup, which is really just one roach, he's looks like he's expanding behind this, which is actually quite smart going into layer tech. He's not being over aggressive here. He's done his poking. He's done some damage. And now he's going to start macroing in behind. This is what you want to do because you are starting to get ahead and a lot of inexperienced players. This is a master's game, so you can see the experience. But a lot of inexperienced players will feel like they're winning the game. They'll overextend and next thing you know it, they're behind and they're losing. How many games have we seen where you'll start to just see a non-stop trickle of like two or three zerglings or roaches constantly coming down and he can't really do anything with them or end the game. He's not doing it here. Very well played by Potato. Yeah, I know that was an excellent job there. Doing a lot with as little as he had, really. Yep. Making the most of those. When's the last time we saw buried burrow ravagers, really? Uh, he's got a couple more out here. That one doesn't make it back into the ground. But the others are still out there lurking in the uh, in the backgrounds, uh, doing their best lurker impersonations. Uh, as uh, as he does get pushed out a little bit, and yeah, Soul Survivor making the best out of a shitty situation. As we uh oh, Nidus, Nidus Here it comes. Yep, I and think uh, I think Soul Survivor's about to have some hemorrhoids. Damn, he is going all in. I'm sitting here really praising Potato, and now he's going all in. No drones whatsoever. Now three of them just popping at the natural. He's going to lose a bunch of Ravagers there in the front and loses pretty much the whole army, and now he's coming in into the main base with only two queens and a dream. I mean, I'm not sure <laughs> this is going to work out. No, I think he had, like, a decent opportunity to, to just, you know, take a breather. He did enough damage to actually give himself a, a way back into the game and kind of reset the clock, as it were. Uh, but now doing this, he's he's kind of got a... This is all he's got, right? Yeah. I mean, this is, yeah. this is the show, and it's not really going his way. No, no, and I was sitting there praising him about not overcommitting, and there he is making a liar of me, and now he is really committing on these Nidus attacks. What's the point in putting down another Nidus here when inside your Nidus you've got, you know, a handful of roaches, but I mean... There are, wait, oh, why is he leaving? I mean, you need the air. There you go, okay. And he needs to to uh, to repair these uh, these banshees. This one siege tank here doing a lot of splash damage. Yeah, that siege yeah. tank's getting a lot of work in. That one queen can't be He's left gonna behind. Do it again. Oh my God, did it just get in there at the last possible frame? He's gonna drop wow. another one. Uh, he's just going to bounce back and forth here. And like you were saying, he's got to repair these Banshees. He's, I, I don't know if he's trying to go all the way around or just decide if he wants to try and base race or if he wants to keep defending this. Because, I mean, he's got to be thinking as he is, really. Potato is starting to mine now. So even though this is kind of like this all-in situation, yeah, uh, it's only like it's like an 80-20 all-in. He, he, he's, he's, he can't go all-in on which strat he wants. But down goes the Nidus on that. It's not going to allow him to attack, and this is going to allow Soul Survivor to try and go and do some damage of his own. But he doesn't have a lot to work with, Mr. Black, and he can't really lose too much here either, despite having quite a number of resources. He's uh, pretty much supply blocked, and he's going to have to be careful because he's not going to be able to do much back at home. Yeah. Well, he does have Cloak, so he does have that going for him. There is one Spore back there, but he could do a little bit of damage with these Banshees if he can get a Cloak and start doing a bit of poking. Um, at least, well, no, he's playing it safe and he's going to head back. We're probably going to see another Nidus go down here, probably in this area here sooner than later, running all the way back. And still no medevacs, basically almost destroyed Banshees, needs to repair those. And uh, we're on a little bit of a reset here. So um, a lot of action, a little bit over commitment and then not over commitment. And hey, it's good. <laughs> he's just it's decent. It's back and forth. I, I, I thought this yeah. game is over a couple of times, but both gentlemen have clawed the way back in at different points, and now, now that reset seems to have taken effect for the most part. Soul Survivor is obviously in the lead right now with supply, no doubt. He's also ahead in resources, but he's gas restrained, to the, and he's not building anything with those extra minerals, really. He's pretty slow to it yeah. as uh, this overlord, uh, or sorry, this overseer comes in to be a bit annoying and get some more information. But really, so it looks like Soul Survivor's way ahead, but in reality, he's kind of awkwardly not. Like, he is and he isn't at the same time. And uh, Potato taking this small opportunity, this window, hoping to get a third up, but he still has to be careful because if Soul does decide to come attack, 
he's gonna have to be uh, to be ready at the same time. But that being said, eight Muta yep. in production as we speak. Yep, eight Muta's on the way, and we do have an infestation pit, so I'm not sure if he's planning to go Hive and then going into um, Guardians, kind of like what, or Guardians, sorry, Broodlords, which are basically Guardians, uh, but different. Um, or he's just going to go ahead and do some harassment with Muta, probably a little bit of both, probably going to do the harassment with Muta, um, and then if the game so goes on long enough, may then transition into some Broodlords. Uh, starting to work his way down, and there's Soul Survivor asking him if he's ready for this penetration that is about to ensue <laughs> on the natural. And uh, Potato, uh, little does Soul Survivor know, he's about to be penetrating this third, and he's going to force all of the units to come back, which is like a Terran's nightmare fuel. And yep. now he's going to choose, do I go back or do we base trade? And it looks like he's opted to go with the base trade, knowing that a lot of minerals and gas are in on these mutas, and if he has just enough at home to at least buy enough time and stop these, get a few missile turrets up, this is his best window to go ahead and do a counterattack. Yeah, and just as that third or, uh, finishes up here, it's gonna go down just as quick, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, I agree, I, he thought about going back, and then he said, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna go up there now. There's a lot of spines here, a number of queens to help hold that, but that's a very big bio ball to have to deal with. Uh, and it's just obviously this would win a base race versus a Muta, but he does have to break through this wall. He will. And that's a lot. Yeah, I mean, these medevacs are going to do a lot of healing, and he's going to lose these queens, yeah. and he's going to lose this go. base. And honestly, I think he did the right move, because think about it. If he was here and he ran all the way down, these Mutas are just going to go in and pick off SCVs and then dip. By the time he stims in here, he's just going to fuck off. And uh, he absolutely did the uh, the right thing and uh, went and did a base race. And now Potato, his entire base is just getting destroyed. Like all he has uh, now are mutas. That's it. Potato's getting baked right now uh, as, <laughs> yeah, uh, as the base race always in the favor of a Terran. Almost guaranteed every time. Uh, as he had that Nidus down, but nothing to really escape with. And, and again, these Muta are just not going to be able to out DPS and, uh, like structures versus that bio ball. That being said, it looks like Potato has brought down some of his other units to attack the expansion out front of Soul Survivor's main. Uh, and he's going to make a run at it. I mean, yeah. he's got the base of the bottom left. He's got all of his drones there, and it looks like this is going to be another classic case. Now, I guess the interesting part about this is that the Terran can't just fly off into a corner. There are Muta in play, and so he can't rely on that to, uh, to help extend well, this match up. if it does come down to that. He screwed up a little bit. Like, I don't know why he doesn't have three or four missile turrets here. He's gotten one, and he's going to go ahead and try and repair it to shit, but he needed three or four missile turrets. Okay, there is a second one back there, but it's still just... You have the minerals for it. Why didn't he just spam missile turrets? And then, you know, work his way back with uh, with his ground army uh, in a once he's done up here. And it's a guaranteed W. And now he's really stimmed. He, he's really got to be careful that he doesn't overstim here. He, you know, yeah, he's got a bit of units, but I mean, he's taking a lot of damage at him. I mean, this is oh, going to be close. More than he should have. Yeah, yes. now, this, this, went from, this went from, like, heavily in Terran's favor to... Okay, Potato might actually be able to pull this off if he plays his cards right. That's kind of what where we're at yeah. right now. Uh, and, and really, because like you were just saying, no turrets at all. I mean, no. you, you know that he's got Muta. You've got tons of resources and SCVs. Yes. You could pepper your base. Yes. With all the... He still hasn't. He yes, I know. He could have been at any junction. Yes. He could have been building turrets and refuses on principle to what put did he a leave single the spire? turret into the ground. Oh, and the spire's still up. It's the well, only now... structure left on the map. Now he's building an extractor, so he's going to have to run all the way back. Um, oh, and no. Potato has got enough minerals for one more hatch so that he doesn't get revealed onto the map. So now he is being revealed, and there he goes. He puts this down. Oh, Not a great place late. to put it down, but now he's gone back because he sees clearly the spire that he missed and the extractor that went down and he has no more minerals anymore for anything else and he, now he's at the point where he's attacking with drones trying to get enough dps possible to uh to win this yeah geez uh, how unfortunate he was about three seconds maybe 
of putting that hatchery down fast enough to hide that greater spire and yep. just didn't get there in time. Uh, looks like Potato went up to uh, to try and run intercept to see if he was going to make a way for the spire, but isn't, and instead he's going to find that hatch, and now it's down to an extractor in the Canceled. top right yep. of the map, plus that greater uh, spire in the uh, in his natural is the only things keeping him alive at this point. Of course, that cancel leaves him with not enough to rebuild yet another. He could build another extractor if he wanted to. And I suppose to be smart, he clears out one of these and builds it in here. Yes. And then what defends he needs, it. Yeah, what he needs to do is he, it, it, not just one, he really needs two. So yeah. what you would do in this position There's is, one. is now that you know your opponent doesn't have any... Um, you know, a a any more SCVs or, or have built any more command centers, you see the structures, you build as much stuff in here as you can. Because oh what God. he can do is he can just go in and stim and try and get enough DPS, but if he's got multiple extractors, he's got to focus down on two different uh, structures, and he's got to try and kill it fast enough, because this army is now going to beat this army. No problem. He can't oh, just... It doesn't... <laughs> Oh god! I think it's game. Oh, he lost. It's over. Oh it's over, dude. Oh my it's god. over. How did he? Taren ain't got nothing, son. Oh, it's over. He talked shit and got hit, bro. There's no. It's over. I like. I thought. I thought maybe he had an SCV somewhere or something. Nah, nah. bro. You got nothing. Nah. He had nothing. He said, "Are you and ready? So, you ready? Damn. Yeah. No. Nah. Soul survivor. He got gut. He got gut. Fuck that. That was, a, that was a pretty solid action-packed game. Pretty pretty solid. Um, it was. Guys. Send in some replays. Send in some crazy cheese. Send them all in. Life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. I have to dip. I'm five minutes late for a so meeting, do I. so I gotta go. I have to go pick up him. Okay. <laughs> well, we will see you guys next week for some more StarCraft. All right? All right. Peace. Peace.